somebody's got to just get their arms around the insane corruption in our in our government. You know, when I call it a Franken government, part of it is it's just dysfunctional. You know, when when the guy who had oversight of the tax committee has been caught red-handed <laughs> hiding income for 10 years, and the whole Congress has known about this for years, and they couldn't even censure the guy, let alone throw him out? How is the rest of America supposed to feel good about paying their taxes when the guy who's the chairman of the committee that has oversight doesn't pay his? And how about this guy, this no, fellow Merther? Merther just Michael. passed away, but he, he siphoned off money, $150 million of our money for 10 years to build a private airfield in southwestern Pennsylvania so that he'd have the convenience of flying back and forth without uh, inconvenience. Well, that's our money, $150 million. And somehow or another, our, our government has lost the idea that they're there because they're public servants. They're not public masters. And, um, you know, I, I once again go back to the Declaration of Independence. The last line of the Declaration of Independence, you know, said, we pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. And those 56 people, they were 56 men at the time, but today they'd be men and women. They put their countrymen above themselves. They said, you know, we're, first of all, they were men of, of a lot of gray hair and accomplishment before they were sent to Philadelphia. And they were sent there because they were all considered wise men. But they made a sacrifice, and this is at a time when it was very dangerous to do so. Our country was full of British soldiers, and it was full of British spies. And they, 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 uh, they risked great personal consequences in order to serve our country. And we need to get back to that. We need to get rid of this sense of entitlement, the, a sense of entitlement which has no boundaries. And we have to put people in Washington that are going to do a job, and then come home to their families and their farms and their businesses and not think that they, they're going to stay down there for 30, 40, 45 years as so many of our congressmen do today.